Good morning. Yesterday I showed the picture of this um, centerpiece that I had created. And uh, it, it, you could probably use these as placemats, but they're kind of large for placemats, so I think it's better as a centerpiece. So I, I've created this one. And then this morning I put together the one that has the owl in the center. I am using uh, the Tula Pink's Moon Garden fabric that just came out. So um, I've put the owl in this one and I've got all of my pieces created for this. I just still have to put the binding on this. So I've got my backing on. Uh, I forgot to change the color of my bobbin thread, but it's fine. It's a, it, it shows up because I didn't use a neutral color that would blend in with the backing, but I don't care. And, and number one, if you want to flip it over and look at the back, that's fine. It's still got a, a really pretty design. Uh, but number two, the main focus, of course, is the front of this. Um, so the next one I am working on is with this beautiful flower that Tula Pink calls Kabloom. And I wanted to be sure I got my little bumblebee in there because he's just too cute. And then the last one I'm going to be doing once I get this one all put together is Hissy Fit, the snake, which, you know, I, I'm not a fan of snakes, but I just love this little guy. He's just so cute. And I love this colorway with the pastel blues and pink. So I'm gonna do this one next. Um, so anyway, I wanted to sh go through a couple of tips and tricks that I've learned by creating this. So first, let me show you this is the pattern design it's called point of view and it's by deborah miller so this is the the pattern that you get when you purchase it it also comes with two pieces of interfacing this one you actually use and you sew it into the design it helps you with your placement of all your pieces you know to, to, to get them in the nice um, format that they need to be in and you also get a piece for centering which helps you you pick out which pattern you want in the center of this to showcase and this kind of helps you uh, get a bird's eye view of what is that going to look like once i get my prairie points in now you can use five layers of prairie points or four and i've chosen to do four because i didn't want my little bumblebee to get covered up and i wanted to showcase more of this beautiful fabric um, and, and this beautiful flower and this one especially, but also when I get ready to do hissy fit, I don't really want my snake covered up very much if I can help it. So I'm doing the, the, the four layers. Now, if you go to Shabby Fabric and watch her videos, she does a video of putting this whole thing together. I, I love her videos. I love her website. She comes up with some of the cutest designs and cutest patterns to show and share with everybody. But I've learned a few tricks myself um, that I'm doing differently than what she does in her video that you might find helpful. So I'm going to share that with you. Also, the other thing you need, you don't need it. You don't have to have it, but this makes it so much easier to make your prairie points is if you have this prairie point ruler designed by Susan K. Cleveland, um, where you can just take your pieces of fabric and you use this ruler to help you get these nice, crisp, prairie points and it's metal so when you put your iron on that this ruler gets hot so you have to put a little ribbon there to slide it out so anyway just want to share that with you as well if anyone is interested in this design let me know i will be carrying this in my shop i will be carrying the patterns and the interfacing and even the the rulers i'll have those for sale um so what i'm doing differently when you watch the the video on shabby fabric she shows you how she glues down all the layers of her pieces first so after she does that you have to go back and you got to sew these pieces down as you can see i've already sewed mine with my line of stitching and you want to sew it in so that it's hidden so when you've got four layers already glued down you have to kind of come in here and pry these open and sew and then come in here and try to pry this open with some tweezers or some kind of a tool and sew it without sewing on the outside of, of this. That's very difficult. I don't see any difference in me sewing my layers down first. So every time I put a layer on, I'm going in and I'm, I'm going ahead and sewing that layer down and it's turning out fine. That's the way I've done the first two, that's the way I'm doing the third one, and the way I'll do the, the last one. It makes it so much easier than trying to go back after the fact when you've got four layers to try to pull those apart. The other thing I figured out was to be sure when you're gluing these down, you put enough glue on that fabric so it adheres to the previous layer. So the way these are layered, uh, because the problem I had and I didn't really pay attention when I put this one together. I'll have to go back and look. I'm not sure if any of my, yeah, they did. See how my piece got flipped here? So I've got this side's going behind that piece. 
this side's going on top of the previous piece. It shouldn't be like that. So I messed that up. It's not really noticeable. Nobody, I don't think, is really going to sit here and go around my whole design and say, oh, oops, that one's going the wrong way. Who cares? It still is really, really cute. But I did notice that it was happening when I was putting my owl together. So I went back and tried to make sure that I caught all of that where the ones that were on top and the ones that were underneath were all going in the right direction. So I figured out by the time I got to this third one that I needed to be sure I was gluing, putting enough glue on these to hold them so that as I'm maneuvering this around and I'm picking it up and I'm taking it to my iron and I'm sewing, I'm not accidentally flipping these pieces so that, let me just like show you, so that like, uh, oops, that one's going the wrong direction. It should be under, not over. So, so I, that tells me I need to put a little more glue right there. <laughs> so those are my two tips and tricks. So if anybody's interested in making this design, whether you purchase it from me or whether you purchase it from, purchase it from someone else, those are, those are my tips. So thanks for watching. Bye y'all.